Hello everyone, this is Pirjo and thank you for uh, visiting my channel today. I show you um, here a new junk journal and this time I used a new digital kit from Susan Taylor Brown at Poppiness. It's called uh, Yesterday's Shadows Blue. The pages are gorgeous. I love the colors. I will show you first a few, few I have left here, but um, that's about what's waiting for us here. Tags and pages, it has all together 23 pages. And um, I love all the architectural images and colors are gorgeous in this kit, so let's have a look. Um, the cover, that was again uh, something uh, I love to use for every journal, a different kind of color, um, cover somehow. And uh, this one has this bow, and then I use this um, vintage uh, brush. I bought during one holiday and uh, this flips out we have here a pocket there I just made a this is like a tack for writing it shows a historical um, painting from 1750 it's about making dread that time. So that goes in that pocket. Um, under here I put some old, one of my most beautiful um, lace pieces and um, it has two signatures and that's the pack. There's also a little bow and so then we open it and here I have used this big, big clip and you can open this. So let's see how we get it in the picture. And inside it's also a pocket and there I have put some tags or uh, journaling cards. This is um, from one of my own photos and some applique there. It's a door, I love doors, old doors. This is a scene from Amsterdam, also for writing, and that goes in this pocket. So in down here I used another old um, trim and that's the cover page. So then we start with the journal itself. It has this uh, hidden spine and this is one of the background pages. I used here all are de dyed and here I used some blueberry and dried with salt. It has some, some texture on it and down here a piece of washi tape I got from my son for for my birthday and the next page is I made this um, small um, package you can take these two off and write and this is a ticket to go to an antique and flea market here in Germany. So here I have used another beautiful lace and a piece of this. Uh, this is from Bruges, from the antique shop I found. I had a little piece left. And behind that's one of my photos. 
and I made a little tag using um, clay and some vintage photo. I hope you can see it. Yeah, now it's on focus. And then I happen to have a small flower stamp, so I stamped it like that. This is the image from a book about Amsterdam. And also some blueberries. And this is from the kit. It's beautiful picture of the theater de la Renaissance. I guess it's in Paris. Then I made with some, um, there's these small tags. I left them all together. I put some pieces of lace and then there are also even smaller tags. All are soon around and each side has one. Then here is the next size of the tags. And here is a key. I think this came from Australia, from Penny. Thank you. Here, just made, I had this image of the Liberty uh, coin. Liberty dollar from 1794. So I thought, let's put it there. And put one more tag. Here is another gorgeous page from the kit. All I did was um, putting this little piece of the trim here. This is one of my photographs. I think I made it in Lis Lisbon, Lisbon, Portugal. Here is a tag for writing. This is another of the background pages. They are gorgeous. This is one of my blueberry uh, pages and there I just made a uh, some cluster with blueberry, some lace and this hexagon slow stitch piece. Another page from the kit. And it's I really like because you can see the images, but it's not totally clear. Like this one has writing on it, it, it makes it just beautiful. Another tag here I used just the, this image of the girl because the tag itself it's then a stairs and it looks like this flower girl is waiting there to sell these beautiful flowers. Here I made a corner pocket with the image from an old postcard I have. And behind that is this pocket. This is idea from Bonnie, Australia, Bonnie and Clyde. And here you can put here something in between or here. Blues for traps. <laughs> so then we have a airmail paper, it's nice structure and feeling, and a, another piece of the washi tape I got from my son. Then this one, this page I printed on a, a vellum. I think the depth is really nice on this. And it's also the middle of the first signature. I love this. And here you can see it from both sides. Then. then here I have put one charm. And it's with five um, pamphlet stitch with five holes on it. It's gorgeous. 
lot of uh, place for writing if you want or decorating another tag here in this page I just put this um, little uh, lace piece also it's lightly colored with blueberries this is blueberry paper here's another of my tags with another door image gorgeous this is my photo and that was the first signature so let's go to the second one it starts with this picture and the next one is music paper and some decoupaging I made and then made a pocket with this and put again a door and some other emphora piece of um, Tim Holtz washi tape this is a page from my photos and I used some appliques because they go so well together with this this uh, crown here And also the I have ripped the edges here actually all over there's another tag here I just put some uh, green flat back beads there there's another page here I put this lady for the corner and you can put a little tag behind that these pages are I love them <laughs> here's a page with, uh, page with lines here because the pages are so beautiful I only wanted to give it a little bit something but itself they are already amazing this is a bridge This is from old, very old dictionary. This was uh, some dry from my dyeing. It's the page of the kit. And this is middle of the second signature. There's another cute, beautiful charm. And this one I made with um, a coffee filter. I opened it, colored it with um, blueberries and left it for quite a long time. Then I have put two pieces of uh, lace here and it's two pockets here. Here's another bridge here I have put a heart, also this was something I have colored, the um, piece of fabric and a piece of washi. And here I used um, from another kit from Susan this tag and this is from, from the yesterday shadows blue kit and then I put this little image here, I love it, the raccoon with the dog. It's so cute. And inside a little tack. Wonderful. Looking. Another tack. It's a really a big kit, so you can easy make a journal or two out of that using it so and here it's a bigger tag and one of my doors and that's the end and in the back there's also a pocket this is one uh, picture from a book I had or that I have also some 
blueberry coloring and that's another image from that book and one more of these book page things this is just like this and I just put it because it has this nice writing but of course you can put here a chisel and make it white and right inside and so this is a big pocket there's a lot of place for things to put in and then uh, there's one more pocket in this place and there are just a few pages for writing inside there so and that's the back and as you see because of the lot of fabric it doesn't need anything to close for closer it stays like this very easy so I hope you liked it and I hope you liked it the video and I wish everybody a wonderful day take care of yourself and take care of your lovely people around you and uh, yeah we will see with the next video that will be another um, design team project and uh, more of that later so bye for now